With the Leviathan Marines taking longer than I thought they would, I wanted to take a different approach to the Tyranids. Instead of fine details, this time I'm going on full speed painting mode. First thing I wanted to do was base my models with Corax White, but after spraying some of the army the can ran out, but I did just have enough rape bone left over to spray the rest. The Termagons, Neurogons and the Neurotyrant got the Corax White treatment and the rest of the army got based with rape bone. Not what I was wanting, but is there really going to be much of a difference? I guess I'm going to find out. My plan was to use contrast paints as much as I can and I wanted to do a test run on two of the Termagants. One with just one pure layer of contrast paint and the other with two thinned down layers of contrast paint. I just wanted to see how much of a difference there is going to be between them before I jump straight into painting 40 odd Tyranid models. The test models were finished and to be honest with you, there is not much of a difference. The only benefit I can see for doing two layers is that it lets you go back to cover any missed parts, especially with the little holes, but that can be fixed by spending an extra couple of seconds quickly looking over when doing one layer. So for me, it's one solid coat all the way. After a lot of contrast painting later, I had the skin painted on all the models with a Yandan yellow. As for the models bait with rape on, I can't really tell the difference to be honest. The contrast seemed to go on a bit better on the rape bone, but overall they turned out pretty much the same. While this way is very quick, there is some sloppiness that goes with it. With the whole model being base white, it's easy to spill some over onto the armour that's going to be a separate colour. So I wanted to see that when I use the armour colour of Griffhound Orange, is it enough to cover over any yellow mistakes or am I going to have to go back and clean up another 30 plus models. Luckily enough, the Griffhound Orange was more than capable of covering over any Ayandan yellow mistakes. And look at this guy, who managed to get himself painted the wrong way around. There's always one of them in the group. The North Tyrant, his little followers and the Barbgon brain parts were then painted with Gilliman flesh. And I also painted part of their gun with the same colour. I didn't spot it at first, but the Norgon's leader also had a big brain sticking out of his back, so I made sure that I didn't miss it. Covers black was then used on their claws, some spiky parts and on their hoofs. With most of the work done, one of the last bulk parts to do then was their teeth and their tongue. I went with flayed one flesh and when they were dry I then shaded them all over with gulliman flesh. With everything almost finished, the army just needed a finishing touch and that was to give them a final dry brush of flayed one flesh. This helps tone down the brightness of the army a little. The last thing to do then was to paint the toxic smoke coming out of the psychophage. I think that's how you pronounce it, psychophage. I gave it a couple of layers of Briar Queen Chill and when it dried, I gave it a dry brush of White Scar. Going from detailed painting to just slapping on contrast paints was a weird experience and it's something that I don't think I'm going to be trying in the future a whole lot. To me, painting is a relaxing experience and I enjoy the challenges of trying to paint models as detailed as I can. I used this as a challenge to see if I could paint up the army in roughly 2 weeks and expand my painting by mostly going with contrast paints. Now this video is very short compared to the amount of time I put into doing this army but there was very few little steps in it. There was probably only a handful of paints I used and if there wasn't so many models it probably would have taken no time at all. But there are positives and negatives of doing something like this challenge. The negative is that there is a level of paint and detail missing on these guys that are not used to just letting slip by. After painting the first 20 models, a level of sloppiness starts happening. And with contrast paints, it can be hard to go back and try and clean it up. And as for the bases, well as you can see they were done very basic. If I had done them the same level as the Space Marine side, I think I'd still be painting them by now. I could have tried to drag the video out a little bit longer by trying to show different things, different parts that I painted, but every single model on it was painted the exact same way, so that's why this video is, is a lot shorter than usual. But if you were like me who had an army that was just on the shelf waiting to be painted, then this is the perfect way to get a tabletop ready. I never painted any turns before and I never intended on having an army, but I couldn't just not paint these guys after painting the Space Marines half. But the overall positive experience was that it was a learning experience with using contrast paints as the main way of painting and I did enjoy doing it. It was a quick way to get an army finished for the tabletop. But if you guys like this video and I helped you out a little bit, make sure to let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't and once again, thanks for watching.